thanks everyone for joining this session of The Bottom Line at TTG. Today I have Mike and Mal, and we're going to be talking about experiential elements. So Mike, we hear the word experiential um, bantered about in regard to consumer events. What the heck does that mean? Well, you know, the, the brands figured out a, a while ago that um, in order to, to sell their product more effectively, mm -hmm. they, they really need to con connect with the consumer on an emotional level. Not, not just say, come, come taste my product, but create a really cool experience that leaves a impression, a memorable impression on that client. So you see that all the time now with um, uh, uh, the, the B2C world when they go and they activate at events. Mm -hmm. They don't just give you a sample of their product. You know, if, if, if it's a Skittles campaign, they're gonna have some kind of a experience that immerses you in the world of Skittles right, to right. where you know you, you, you share it on social media, you're talking about it with your friends, and um, you know, we, we just see that a ton now in the world of um, uh, business to consumer marketing. Well, thanks for that explanation. And Mal, what are some examples of experiential elements that we've done? Well, we've done a ton within the trade show space with that are either at a show or connected to a show. I think probably the coolest activation I've seen us do um, was the one we did with Riftlock. And we did that in partnership with a company called Fish who could do the uh, data analytics as well. It was really exciting. League of Legends was looking to have like a big thank you for their fan base. And we created this event that was a traveling event and you walked through, the Rift Walk is part of their game experience. So it actually looked like you were in the game. Oh, wow. And as you walked through this experience, you would have a different elements that you could stop at, get your picture taken, interact with. It was really, really cool. We did one with a tank. Uh, we have a company called World of Tanks that mm -hmm. we work with. And we actually brought in an old Sherman tank and they had a campaign where they reached out to their audience and say, hey, what are some cool things that we can do that we can run over that you guys <laughs> can see live? Neat. And it was really pretty funny. We've also created a huge full-scale dinosaur that people could get on and have uh, their picture taken with it. And in the lines, by the way, that you see, you see these lines of people. I was at PAX when we did that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a line that's like an hour long oh, of yeah. people dying to come. And of course, when they do that, they're not getting the picture taken and just being, you know, sending it to mom. I mean, they're posting it, right? On Absolutely. social media. And, you know, so it has a huge um, um, viral impact as well. And we yep. did a booth for Facebook Oculus and the same thing. They had a um, photo areas where you can go and get your photo taken and instantly post them to Instagram. So it's really cool. And those get tons of views. It's really exciting. We also did an exhibit where we had a three-story exhibit with a slide and people could slide down, which was really cool as well. Yeah, sure, it's marketing within marketing. You know, Absolutely. You're getting people to market for you. Exactly. So Mike, um, should this be considered for a B2B um, event and what are the benefits? You, you know, I, I think you're starting to see it and absolutely it should be considered for B2B events. You're starting to see that in uh, some of the larger B2B conferences, uh, Dreamforce, Salesforce.com's big event is an example of that where they've been, another buzzword in that world is festivalization. They're starting to festivalize the event. Well, mm -hmm. Mike, you know, today's audience is made up primarily in the business world today is made up from millennials. There's a ton of millennials. Yeah. And it's been proven that millennials react much better to these experiences. They expect these experiences, a much more tactile uh, engagement with the product than just looking at it. Yep. And it's really important that as marketers, we uh, recognize that and try to hit them up with that. And, and, and I think we can do it in such a way that we take a core value of the company and, and we reinforce that core value in a really fun and engaging way. And I think, by the way, that what we did at Bitcoin with a lot of now, that was sort of on the, the, the edge as to whether you'd consider that a, a B2C or a B2B event. But these were business people who were there having a good time playing basketball or they were, they were, were watching Tony Hawk. Or sumo uh, wrestlers. Sumo wrestlers. You know, it's an experience. And um, so, you know, I, I, I think, you know, at the end of the day, as Mal pointed out, that we're, there's a lot of millennials that are now in the business world. And at the end of the day, we're all human and we want to have fun. Yeah, so what's the bottom line, guys? So I would say that the, the bottom line is um, people are coming out of a pandemic. And if ever there was a time to try to offer a memorable experience at a show, now's the time. You know, let, let's engage people. They're coming out of the shell, their shell, they're, they're, they're getting out finally to a trade show. 
And um, I, I think it can be more than just, um, um, you know, here's, here's what we want to sell you. I think, right. I think we, can, we can help uh, um, deliver uh, um, solid messages. experience. Yep. Yeah, it's been question. great. Well, thank you so much, Mike and Mal, and thanks, everyone, for joining this session of The Bottom Line at TTG, and we'll see you next time.